Welcome. This video documents me making a large batch of wooden coasters to sell at various venues. Enjoy. I was a part of a craft market last weekend, and I was conversing with the lady who organized the event, who claims to be named Katie, and after rebuking me in several nasty ways for my lack of safety precautions, she complimented me on my segmented pen turning video, stating that she found the commentary and quotes and all things very amusing. This was ridiculously flattering, and now I am far too proud of my strange and unique YouTube videos. This woman, still claiming to be Katie, also stated that she liked the coasters I had made, so I told her that in this video I would make mention of her and do my best to make it as amusing as possible. The self-proclaimed Katie, who showed me no proof that that was in fact her real name, stated that she enjoyed the philosophical side of the video in which I shared various philosophical quotes. Let's start it off with some John Ruskin, who is a 5 foot 10 English philosopher and art critic of Scottish heritage. He died on January 20th, 1900, in Brantwood, which happens to be within the UK. John Ruskin said, Quality is never an accident. It is always the result of intelligent effort. The reason I bring up quality is because in an attempt to improve the already outstanding quality of my videos, I have switched up how I record the voiceovers. I used to just record them on my phone, but now I am using a, my computer and a weird microphone thing and all sorts of technology I don't even understand. You could say that this change is a result of intelligent effort, but most people that know me would agree that the existence of my intelligence is questionable, so whatever. But please let me know if this sounds any better than my previous videos because I am far too scared of my own voice to dive in depth into a comparison. Let's keep it going with these quotes intermingled with my own thoughts and ideas. This next quote is from Maggie Cunn. With the help of one Ralph Natter, she secured a meeting with the president of the First Pennsylvania Bank. The bank agreed to establish special check drawn saving accounts for people over the age of 65 free of charge, and make loans more accessible to older people. Cool. The quote is as follows. Stand up before the people you fear and speak your mind, even if your voice shakes. I suppose that is a good reason to jump into swamps. Dale Carnegie said, Inaction breeds doubt and fear. Action breeds confidence and courage. If you want to conquer fear, do not sit home and think about it. Go out and get busy. And since I just mentioned being busy, here is a quote from David Allen. I have no desire to research this man and find his height and when he died, so if you want this information, there is this thing called Google that you can use to learn how to tell someone's birthday with no prior knowledge, how to break car windows when previously instructed not to, how to hang up curtain rods with your spouse, how to have better fashion choices than cargo shorts and a hoodie, how to gird up your, mm, mm, we'll skip that one, how to broil chicken wings without burning them, and even how to park without making an embarrassment of yourself. Here's the David Allen quote. He says, and I quote him, much of the stress that people feel doesn't come from having too much to do, it comes from not finishing what they started. Jumping topics just a bit, I took a break from recording this to go eat lunch. This may confuse some, as the endless ramble of words did not stop in the video, but such is the power of editing. While on this break, I noticed that there was a bit of an echo in the preluding recordings, but I want to keep them because I think they were quite lovely. However, I have since changed rooms, so hopefully that helps. While devouring lunch with various members of my family, the topic of essential oils came up. This filled me with rage! The definition of essential is something that is absolutely necessary. Thus, one could assume that survival without these oils is not a possibility. Yet, the earliest evidence of essential oils being used in history was between 3000 and 2500 BC, when the ancient Egyptians used aromatic extracts for beauty care culinary use, and spiritual and physical well-being. How did those who came before them survive? 
How lucky we are to live in a day and age that the oils that are so essential to life are readily available at your local oil shop. I have never used essential oils, and I seem to be doing just fine. Maybe. Depending on how you look at it. But this brings up an issue that needs to be addressed immediately. We need to stop referring to these substances as essential oils and start calling them either non-essential oils or just oils. I just switched rooms yet again in search of better audio results. It seems as though in the past I have not been contented with the results of my various quests for audio quality. Maybe someday this will change though. While we are on the subject of marriage and how that directly affects the amount of time a man spends mowing the lawn in the winter, here is a quote about television from David Frost. Television is an invention that permits you to be entertained in your living room by people you wouldn't have in your home. Yeah, actually pretty dead on. And since we are already talking about rooms, here is a quote from Lance Morrow. A rattlesnake loose in the living room tends to end all discussion of animal rights. And here's another from Rita Rudner. My husband is so confident that when he watches sports on television, he thinks that if he concentrates enough, he can help his team. If this team is in trouble, he coaches the players from our living room. And if they're really in trouble, I have to get off the phone in case they call him. Yeah, whatever. Enough of these useless and meaningless quotes. Good quotes can help tell a story and enhance the credibility of a press release, news story, or speech. Words that are crafted well can leave a lasting impact on the world. That was a quote from Holly Zulaga. If you were at all pleased by or amused by this video, then that is my very great delight and I have achieved my goal in the making of this video. Feel free to do all the various things like administering the thumbs down button or not commenting or unsubscribing. This all helps me out and encourages me as well. If you didn't find this video amusing or helpful, then why did you watch it for seven minutes? Did you think it would get better? You weirdo. Regardless of how this video made you feel, Thanks for watching it to the end, and I will see you later. Cheers.